Today I'm gonna be hopping on the denim nails trend. I don't know about y'all, but I have been seeing these everywhere. So yeah, if you just type in denim nails on Instagram, like all of these pop up, these are super cute. And then we got the duckies. Oh, okay, these are from Stiletto and Coffin or Stiletto in a Coffin. She's actually the one that inspired me to do these. This is her denim nail tutorial. I was going back and forth if I should do duckies or not. They cool and all, but I think they look really cool with this nail design. So she goes step by step showing you how to mix the colors and everything. Thank you, sis, because I don't know too much about color theory. So this actually really helped. And so yeah, I'm gonna just be following this. You know, she just do a little painting and she do a little blending with the white to kind of all make it look like denim. And then, you know, the white stripes for the stitches on the jeans. You know, everything is everything. Okay, and then some real jeans to, you know, add the fabric. All right, they're cute. They seem simple enough. I think I can pull it off. <laughs> all right, so let's get started. So with all of my duck shaped nails, I'm not gonna keep these on long. So we're gonna go in with the Jello Jello peel off base coat. It has been working really well for me for like all these nail designs. I still have the base coat on for my last set. Um, so I'm just gonna put this right on top. This stuff has really been coming in handy. Um, there were some comments asking like, have I shown me peeling them off? You have to check my shorts, honey. <laughs> but yeah, I'll leave a link down to my YouTube short where I actually show how I take these off. Really, really simple. Well, you know, not this specific set, but I'll show you how <laughs> I took a set off using the Jello Jello peel off face coat. You know, you don't wanna do this too thick, but you also don't wanna do it too thin. Otherwise it ain't gonna come off. So I got all of my duct tips picked out and I'm just gonna go ahead and glue them on. Probably just gonna add a little bit of glue. And this time I went up in size just to make sure they fit from side to side. Even though I think they're, you know, a little too wide, but I'll fix them with shaping. <laughs> And there we go. I also think I might keep them just a little more flare just so we can have room for all of our nail design. They're all glued on and I'm gonna go ahead and buff. It's kinda, <laughs> it's kinda weird, you know, to hold your hand like this cause all the nails kinda hit each other. But I'm just gonna carefully just take the shine away from the nail tip. I don't wanna buff the peel off base coat, so. Just be careful with that. And I'm also just gonna cut them down just a little bit. Okay, that's like really not even, but <laughs> we'll fix it. Man, just, I don't want them crazy long. I mean, <laughs> it's pretty crazy, duct, duct tip nails anyway, but you can definitely do this after you apply whatever product you're doing and, you know, shape, but it does save time to just go ahead and cut the length down. I'm just doing a light filing. So today I'm gonna go in with the nude patty gel. I'm gonna do this like before. We're gonna do in two beads. So I'm gonna do the tip first. I'm gonna get that dust out of here. I'm just gonna go ahead and pat this on the tip first and then we'll go back in with our cuticle bead. I think this is probably like, I mean, I guess you could, you know, try to do it all in one go, but I think, you know, honestly, this might just be enough for the full nail, let's see. I'll probably go in just with a little tiny cuticle bead. Cause once again, we want these nails to be structured, but thin. Don't want them too thick. Okay, I think I can probably, this probably is enough. <laughs> that voice was like the lady who's like, everyone's so creative. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and pat this in place. See, I said I was gonna do this in two beads and this is actually enough. Let's go ahead and make sure this is nice and perfected around the cuticle area. Yes, this is what I love about Patty Gel. You can definitely, oh, look at that. <laughs> okay, let me stop. <laughs> but yes. I love how you have time to really perfect an area without worrying about it drying. And once again, I'm using 91% isopropyl alcohol for my slip solution, but you know, 
alcohol is fine. Anything over 70 should be good. But, ooh, it just spreads like butter. Don't play, okay? <laughs> These might be cute enough to stay on. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to do this for all of the nails and just making sure I have enough coverage. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. So I went ahead and cured, but it's a little flat for my liking. So I'm just gonna go in with a little tiny bead of patty gel. Probably didn't even need that much, but I'm just gonna plop that right there. And this pretty much fixed the shape a little bit. But yeah, if you don't get the shape right the first time, don't feel like you can't go back in and fix it. These are your nails. It's your world, okay? <laughs> fix your nails. Make that shape perfect. Because even though these are duck nails and, you know, not everyone's favorite, they still deserve to be shaped to their full potential, okay? <laughs> You're going to do something. Do it right. We're just going to pat this down the nail. Oh yeah, much better. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. All right, all of the patty gel is laid. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna wipe off the nails with alcohol because we must file and the sticky layer will stick to your file, to your drill bit. So make sure to wipe the nails off. I made sure to really lay this evenly so I shouldn't have to do too much filing. So we're just gonna go ahead and refine the shape. All right, so nails are all filed, shaped, and buffed. Okay, so now we can go in with our painting. So my Apre collection has came through, okay? I don't even think I'll have to mix any of these colors to get a denim color, because these two are pretty close. And then we got this one. They're all gonna kind of work together to help a girl out. So one time for the Apre Mykonos Ombre collection. And if y'all wanna see the whole Apre Ombre swatch of like all their polishes, I'll leave the video somewhere around here. So for my denim, I'm gonna be using my son's old shorts. And these are like really old. They're a size five and he's in a size 12 now. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know how these haven't gotten thrown out yet. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just gonna like cut a little piece of this to make Match. So as you can see, it was pretty much kind of go with what's going on here. I'm thinking about like maybe not a full, probably like cut out a French tip or something. I don't know. I think it's gonna be cute though. And I picked up some new nail art brushes from Kiara Sky. I have tons of nail art brushes, but I don't know. It's like they all don't work the same. It's so it's so strange. Like these, I don't know, they're like the really like cheap ones. <laughs> I got these from Timu, but I really like these. They work well, but I don't have like some of these other shapes. So I'm thinking for this nail design, I definitely need like one of these kind of flat, I don't know what you call them, what they call it, round. <laughs> one of the round ones and then one of like the flat. Oh God, just pointing. <laughs> I can't take myself seriously when I'm pointing at something with these duct tips on, like. <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and take all of these out. So I ordered the bundle with their um, gel pots and they were giving away free cases with these, but I guess I didn't get one, so. <laughs> um, but anyway, I think I probably might use, I don't know, I'm just gonna get these out. I'm gonna need a liner too. Um, I'm probably gonna use this liner. Liner XL, this is gonna be, you know, for, y'all see when it comes up, but I just couldn't resist these handles. This is so cute. And I do love that they come with a cap that's like pretty wide, so you shouldn't <laughs> mess it up. Okay, so I don't really know which colors. I'm probably just gonna put them all on this palette here, just so we can have them all out and to see kind of what, what colors I want to use. But yeah, as y'all can see, that one has like the gray undertones of like denim, so yay me, I don't have to do any mixing. <laughs> I don't know if I need this one, but we'll just tap a little bit of you out as well. And some white. All right, so I'm gonna put on some base coat first. It just makes the gel polish apply way more easy. <laughs> way more easily. 
All right, so I'm just gonna go in with the darker blue and just start applying it, making sure the cuticle is nice and crisp. I mean, I can go back in with a liner brush, but you know. So yeah, I'm just gonna do something like that. I gotta leave a spot for the little hole in the, in the jeans. <laughs> so uh, we just gonna just do a little something like that. And then on the same brush, I'm just gonna kind of mix it. Okay, it's kind of giving a denim-esque look. Oh yeah, see, these two colors go really well together. Okay, I'm gonna go back in and just get the spots that I missed. I love this. There's like not a right or wrong way to do it. It all looks good. I just wanna make sure to keep the edges a little, you know, dark, that dark denim color. Okay. And then I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of that lighter blue. Okay, you do have to have a soft hand. I know this look kind of crazy, but you know. I feel like I'm moving too much into the light. Yeah, you can get <laughs> you can get kind of muddy if you keep playing with it. So I'm gonna stop right here. And I wanna open this up just a little bit. I feel like I I want I want the little holes to be a little bigger. So we just gonna clean that up. All right, go ahead and cure that. So taking the liner brush, I'm just gonna get some of this white and just gonna make really tiny lines. Oh, okay, just kinda very tiny. Okay, I think this is starting to look like something. <laughs> This design is like an abstract, so you know, it's it's kind of, you have to look at it and then be like, oh, okay, I see what you're going for. Okay, that looks a little denim. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. All right, so I have to do my little sponging of the white. So I'm gonna use these little milk sponge. Ooh, I always spill them when I open this. <laughs> but I'm just gonna use one of these sponges. And these sponges are from my Korean nail haul. I'll leave a link to that if you guys are interested, but I like these. So I'm gonna use my little sponge pickupper thingy and just tap a little bit. Don't need much. And just gonna just put random kind of distressed look you know oh i like how this looks already i want to say this is probably my first time doing a denim look i only do nails when i'm filming so <laughs> i can only film one video a week okay not too much i kind of i want to just dab this just a little more and this is just a little too bright okay i like let's cure this all right so now i'm just gonna take the liner brush and we're gonna do our stitch i am loving the fine tip on this it's really making it easy okay you know this is a hand stitch so it's not gonna be perfect Ooh. Maybe I should not have drunk a Coca-Cola before doing this. <laughs> okay, and I'm just gonna clean this up just a little bit. So that's how it's looking so far. Let me cure that before I mess it up. Oh, I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna repeat the same thing for the middle finger. And just start by making sure that cuticle is nice and tight. I love the nail art that is just like abstract, that you don't have to have like a precise precision with it. I like these type of art because it's not that hard. <laughs> I don't know why I was a little nervous to do this. Everyone else denim nails come out so pretty and I'm like, oh, I hope mine can come out that, that cute. Okay. It also helps to work with some good pigmented gel polish and then 
with the same brush. I'm just wiping off the gel polish on a dry paper towel. I'm not dipping it in alcohol because I kind of wanted to, you know, mix a little bit. So we're gonna put that lighter color towards the inside. And I'm starting off with a light hand at first. Well, everything is with a light hand. And just lightly tapping the colors. Something like that. And then with a dry brush, I'm just gonna like, just blend everything together. And you know, you can go back and forth with the colors and play around. You know? Okay. And once again, just gonna clean this up a little bit. Okay, but I kind of like it when it looks like not a perfect, you know, cutout. So we're gonna do that. Let me go ahead, cure. Once you like the placement of something, just go ahead and cure it because it's been plenty of times where I've messed it up trying to do everything at once. And we're gonna do the same thing over here with our lines, giving the effect of ripped jeans. Yeah, it definitely helps just to go in the same direction. Ah! <laughs> I don't want you right there. So we're going to get rid of you. All right, got the middle finger and the thumb. I think I'm mastering the denim look, okay? <laughs> All right, so now we're just going to go and do our hand stitching. I'm literally holding my breath. <laughs> All right, the jeans look pretty good. Not bad. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go in with this matte gel top coat. Yeah, I think this is one design that looks really good matte because, you know, jeans are pretty much matte, you know, unless they're like some special metallic or something, but normal everyday jeans are matte. Oh yeah, <laughs> the matte really sets it off. Wow. <laughs> this really looks like denim. All right, so now it is time to try to cut this on how I wanna cut it. My vision is I wanna do like a French tip on these two. I'm just gonna start cutting. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna cut a small piece. Look at me, <laughs> recycling reusing i thought i was gonna have to go to like joanne fabrics or somewhere but before i went i was like well let me see what i got and i came across this old pair of mj pants so i'm like this is actually perfect i don't have to spend any more money <laughs> so we got our little piece i need to like like fray off a little bit i wonder if i can just kind of like pull some little fringes to put you know, to put the little cloth around here to make it to make it look like jeans. You pretty much just gotta unravel some of this. I wish it was an easier way. Okay, find that like pulling it and then like <laughs> fraying it. <laughs> it kind of works a little better. All right, so I actually found the side. I thought I was gonna use like some of the blue, but I don't wanna use the blue. So I'm just gonna kind of just unravel <laughs> on this side where more of the white is exposed. Like so. All right, I think that should probably be enough. You don't really need that much. Okay, so next I need to figure out how I'm going to do my little French tip. Oh, I think that's kind of cute. I have it like a, a, a fringe <laughs> at the end. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna cut a guide. <laughs> this is so fun. I love when nails turns into arts and crafts. <laughs> okay. So we got something like this. I'm gonna start in the center. And let's just kind of freehand it and then I'll uh, try to make it crisp. <laughs> So 
something like that. Let's see how this will look. Ooh. Okay. See, y'all see where I'm going? You're going to have to play around with this a little bit. But other than that, I mean, it's not too difficult. A little time consuming, but it's not difficult. <laughs> so I want it to be something like that. So I think I'm just going to roughen this up a little bit. I don't know. I just feel like the glue will stick better. Okay, so I'm just going to cover half of this. And just hold that down. Okay, perfect. And then we're just going to glue this other side down. <laughs> okay, so on the underside, I'm just gonna cut off the excess. Or should I fold it over? Oh no. <laughs> we gonna hem this and I'm just gonna fold it over. It's acting like it don't wanna work, but we gonna make it work. And I'm just gonna hold this down for a couple seconds until it stays. All right, and then I'm just gonna cut this excess off. Okay, that side looks good. See, you come here for nails and then you stay for the sewing and clothing techniques. <laughs> I know it looks silly, but you know, it's bringing the jean aesthetic home, okay? All right, so now to try to do this again. All right, so I'm just gonna repeat the same thing for the index finger. Since I know what I'm doing now, <laughs> this should move a little easier. All right, I think this looks so cute, okay? <laughs> so now I want to attach these little fibers. I'm gonna use the rhinestone glue to do that. We're just going to put a nice little thin border around our rip in our jeans. And then using the tweezers, I'm just gonna play around with my placement. I'm not gonna be a perfectionist. Well, try not to. <laughs> I just want them all kind of laying the same way. All right. <laughs> I think I'm going to be satisfied with this. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and cure this. And let's see if I could just trim these up a bit. Okay. So I think I want to like make a little chain border. I think that'll be really cute. How I'm gonna do it, I don't know. I think I'll probably just use this rhinestone glue. I mean, it's been working, so let's see. So I'm just gonna put a good layer. I want it to kind of overlap the jean material a little bit. And I'm sorry, y'all probably can't see it all that well, but I'm just going to lay it down into the gel like that all right and we're just gonna just mold it how i want it Ooh, okay i gotta see where i want to cut this well, i should have probably just cured it it's all right okay <laughs> take two so we're gonna just put this back like that i just want to make sure it's exactly where i want it to be and I'm just gonna clean up the excess gel. So here is the finished look. I don't know, I mean, I think they look cute, but in like a very creative and crazy type of way. The shape is slightly growing on me, just, just a taint. I really love how I did the denim look with the gel polish. That looks really spot on. And let's not forget the French tip. It's crazy because it's like the glue made this really hard. I mean, I, I probably still have a hard time washing my hands, but I'll probably pop these off in a few hours anyway. Oh yeah, from? that's for me. I see. <laughs> I don't know nothing about that. Let me taste it. <laughs> Let me show you something. Oh, you got some new ones. <laughs> Blue jeans. <laughs> What is going on lately? No, no, not the duck again. <laughs> stop, stop. I hope y'all are not encouraging this duck. What the duck? <laughs> no, you know, just having fun. They do like blue jeans though. I see this one little 
You want to know where the jean fabric came from? <laughs> where? <laughs> I'm afraid to I ask. found an old pair of MJ shorts. <laughs> I thought you were going to say one of mine. <laughs> I'm looking at you crazy. Why? So. <sighs> they cute. Don't hate. I can't get past the shade. <laughs> that shape is god awful. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah, I know. Yeah, fun. <laughs> hey. Hi. Can I show you something? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what you think about my nails? <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. You weren't kidding. Is this really MJ's pants? Yes. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, that's really freaking creative. That's awesome. Thank you. How long did it take? Too long. At least somebody appreciates my art. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Marcus didn't like them. <laughs> <laughs> but I think this is cute. Um, Not bad for my first denim nails. What y'all think? But would y'all try denim nails? Denim duct tip nails? <laughs> So if y'all enjoy me doing crazy nail designs, check out more videos right here and I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.